Hey guys, it's Bree here from Blossom and Branch Farm, and today we're talking all about pinching dahlias, why you pinch dahlias, when you pinch dahlias, and how to pinch dahlias. Let's go. So pinching dahlias can be intimidating just because there's such a prized bloom and then you're coming in here and you're hacking off a piece of it. It can be scary. So this video is going to help clear up why we do it and to give you more confidence in when to do it. Now pinching just means that we're removing the top bit of growth from the plant in order to create branching. And we do this with most flowers and we also do it with a few vegetable plants that we grow here at the farm. So we pinch lisianthus, we pinch zinnia, snapdragon, dahlias. We pinch because it creates a branching habit in the plant. So this is important for things like flowers because we want to get a lot of flowers. If we don't pinch, we'll get one main stem and one flower. And then once we cut it back, we will get some branching. If you want branching early on, which means more flowers early on, then it's a good idea to pinch. The other reason why it's good to pinch things like dahlias in particular is because dahlias can get top heavy. So if we can get a bushier plant lower down at the base, that's going to help keep the dahlias from toppling over. It's going to give them a little bit more sturdiness at the base. So more flowers, more sturdiness. Those are kind of the two reasons in general why we pinch. It's a good thing to know how to do. Now the question is, when do you do it? Most recommendations on pinching dahlias out there will tell you that you have to pinch when the plants are about a foot tall. For me personally, I have found that I don't like pinching that late. I prefer to pinch much earlier and I'll tell you why. I really like to pinch them earlier and I like to do that because if we're trying to encourage a bushier plant and a more sturdy plant, doing that closer to the ground is going to give us more stability. If we have a taller stem and then we have branching from the top, that's going to create some instability and top heavy issues. Whereas branching at the bottom is going to give us a bushier plant lower down. The other reason why I don't like to wait to pinch until they're about a foot tall is because when the plants are about a foot tall, those dahlia stems are hollow. So if you've ever cut a dahlia, you know that the stem is hollow. If we wait for it to grow bigger and I pinch it and it's hollow in the middle, that means a couple things. One is that if we get a heavy rainfall, heavy rain can go into that hollow stem. It can lead to some rot issues with your tubers. I personally not really had this happen. I know it has happened to other growers. We live in a dry climate. It's usually not an issue for me. The reason that I don't like to do it is because it can invite some pest issues. One of the main insects that we deal with here at the farm is earwigs and earwigs love the dahlias. They love nooks and crannies. So when we pinch a bigger dahlia, what we do is we create a nice big nook for those earwigs to go down and into. So if we're pinching when they're younger, that stem is still solid. If we're pinching when they're older, it's hollow and those pests and bugs and things can work their way down and into the stem of the plant, which can create some health issues for the plant down the road. It also just kind of creates a breeding ground for those insects. Earwigs in particular love to nest and lay eggs in little tight nooks and crannies. So they will lay eggs in the hollow of the dahlias. So pinching is very simple. Literally all we do is we find that top growth node and we pinch directly beneath it. Now, how do we pinch? You can do it a couple different ways. You can use clippers, you can use scissors, um, but I really prefer just to use my fingers. It is just the easiest tool. I can really get in there and feel exactly where I want to be pinching. So I like to use my hands. And usually the term for pinching comes from that motion that we're doing with our hands. We're physically pinching them. Pinching also lets me really feel the growth node and make sure that I'm getting beneath that. And I'll show you that, but we want to make sure that we're getting beneath the little growth node so I can feel that little nubbin with my fingers and get beneath it if I'm doing it by hand. If you'll look at a dahlia that has just sprouted out of the ground, I usually start to look about a week after I've seen the first sprouts is when I'm going to pinch. So coming up from the bottom of the soil, you should be able to count one, two, three levels of leaves. And at the top, there is a main stem coming out. We are going to pinch just underneath the little bulbous growth node on that top main stem coming out. That's going to encourage the branching. It's going to encourage branching from lower down on the plant. So that's it. Don't be intimidated by pinching your dahlias. It's a great way to get more blooms, sturdier plants, and you're going to be much happier with the production of your dahlias if you do it. Now remember that pinching can be applied to lots of different flowers. I do usually wait until I see three or four sets of leaves before I pinch, and then I do the same thing. I come in and I pinch off that top little bit of growth, and then you'll get branching. If you're not sure whether you should pinch it or not, 
let me know below and I'll answer your pinching questions for you. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching our video today. If you liked it, please remember to like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot here at our regenerative flower farm and we will see you soon around here.